Hi guys, thanks for watching. This is my get ready with me birthday edition of 2019. I turned 34 today. I'm, you know, pretty, pretty happy about it. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have to go to dinner. I'm running really late, so I wanted to film this really quickly, but thank you so much for all the birthday wishes you guys sent me on Instagram and social media. I really appreciate it. And I'm so excited to continue filming for you. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you soon. Bye. Hello. Okay, so you guys are gonna ask me. We're doing a sheet mask. This is the SK2 facial treatment mask. This is probably the only sheet mask, aside from the Amori Pacific, the new one, that the Youth Revolution one, that I recommend. I just had this. It's a radiance and moisture boosting mask. I have this. Um, I have the. I've had the Charlotte Tilbury one too, that dry one. I do like that one too. I just didn't have it on me. I had this on me. Um, so I'm doing this, I'm taking it off though. I had it on for, how long have I had this thing on at this point for? What time is it? I've been on for probably like 45 minutes. Um, and then I brought my skin, the little bit of skincare that I am gonna use. I brought with me, oh my God, because like I'm here just so I don't have to get up. Um, I hope you guys, Oh my god, this feels amazing. I haven't done one of these in forever. It's like amazing. Oh my god. <laughs> I like forgot how good it is. Um, I love it. I love the well-used sheet mask, especially if you've got like an event or something. Uh, I'm very pro sheet mask for that thing. I don't find it necessary for like daily skincare, at least my perspective I don't find it necessary but if you're doing what I'm doing where you've you know been up and going all day and then you came home to take a reprieve and get ready for you know a night out um or something and you want to look really good it is amazing just make sure you get one that's like hydrating and brightening and oh my god my skin feels like amazing like oh it's the best okay so can you guys tell a difference? I, this is the first video I filmed with my new setup. It's, I don't think it's all the way done yet, but it is like late years better than what I've ever had. I'm so, so happy about it. Um, yeah, I have so much to tell you. Um, I'm so happy about the setup though. I'm like obsessed with everything. I've got this like really legit ring light situation going on. It beats the hell out of the one I had before this. And then I've got um, a new camera, just came a couple days ago. Uh, so this is the first video I filmed on it. And it's like the new Canon Mark Pig 3. It's so like a G7X Mark 3. It's the brand new one, the one that films in 4K. So I'm super excited about it. Um, oh my God, it makes such a difference. I'm like, I can't get enough. Um, and then I have new makeup that I'm gonna play with today too. In my last get ready with me, I kind of mentioned that like I like Einstein with makeup, I wear the same makeup every day. I don't put any thought into it. I just like literally have a checklist in my head and I go through it. So I wanted to give myself a ton of time today because I can't get over my skin. It's like just the best. It feels like a baby's butt. It feels so good. Um, I don't let that kind of marinate. Uh, but what was I saying? I got new makeup and I wanted to give myself a ton of time to play with it and get ready because, you know, I have new stuff I want to play with, but also it's my birthday and I don't want to be rushed and I haven't like, you know, I haven't just chilled out and played around with makeup and I don't even know how long, like way too long. Um, and I think the last time, for the record, I have no idea what I'm going to look like at the end of this. Um, the last time though I did a video where I was getting ready with me, like a, you know, uh, and I didn't know what I was gonna do, you guys loved it. Like y'all loved it. So that was, that was a very long time ago because I was still married and it was, I think that was my last anniversary with my ex-husband. <laughs> so it's been many, many years. Um, but yeah, so 
Okay, so, okay, okay. So just a general idea of what we're doing. I did a little bit of skincare. I did my skincare this morning. Uh, went on a, went out, had an amazing day. Did a taco tour, or like an, like a, an abbreviated one, you know, because dinner tonight, I don't want to be like gross feeling. Um, and clean the clothes I want to wear tonight. Um, got new makeup and um, what the hell else did I was going to tell you? Oh, I got uh, for my birthday one of the things I got, which is unbelievable, is that Dyson Airwrap, the complete suite of tools. So I have the Dyson blow dryer. I love it. It's totally worth the money. Um, but I'm so excited to play with that. So I'm going to do my hair in this video too. Again, no idea what I'm doing. Um, so this is going to be a fun little experiment with new stuff. And, and I'll show you my outfit and everything when we're done. Uh, I have a general idea of what I'm wearing tonight, uh, but I'm very, I'm a planner in a lot of ways, but when it comes to what I look like on a daily basis, like I don't plan much, uh, unless I have to, like if I'm traveling or something. Um, yeah, okay, so let's get going. I'm so, so, so excited. Okay, so primer first. I do have lip balm on. I have the Amore Pacific Moisture Round Lip Treatment. I do really like it. Um, I need a mirror situation happening because I can't just keep looking at this thing. It's my like go-to lip balm. I just felt like I needed some hydration. So I put that on when I was doing the face mask. And it will stay on until I do my um, lips. But yeah, I'm so pumped. I have had like such a great birthday already it's technically like started on saturday i came home to presents and this like great dinner and then tonight um today's been amazing with your chocolate tour and had like just the best time it's just been the perfect like low-key but still like sweet day where i've had people like messaging me all day and you just feel really loved and you know noticed and that's always a good feeling um I cannot get over how good a sheet mask I feel. I need to do them more often because this is like heaven. Um, what else have I already done? What else have I done? I feel like there was something else. Oh, duh. And then tonight, um, when I'm getting ready, tonight we're going to, like a bunch of us are doing dinner at like one of my absolute favorite spots. And it's all my nearest and dearest. It's a, it's a really small group of people which was on purpose because I really just wanted like my diehards, you know, with me. So I just have literally my best friends and then um, if their partners are in town, they're partners. So Nikki likes to say she's a tour widow um, because her partner is like always on the road. Like he, he's a drummer, so he's just touring. Um, but yeah, so she'll, she'll be, he's always invited. He very rarely comes because he's very rarely around. And, you know, anyway, not the point. Okay, so let's get ready. I have, I'm going to start with like my usual stuff. So I started with the Givenchy primer, that color correcting one. I had somebody tell me that they can't find it. They changed the name of it. So this is the, I guess the old one. They, they do still make it. They just changed the name of it. Uh, it does still come in multiple colors. I can't remember what the anti-redness one is, which is the one I have, um, but they do make it. I saw it online. Uh, what else was I going to tell you? When I get a new one, I'm probably going to get that rose one because it's like brightening, but who knows? Oh, but then again, I also want to try that... Uh, What's that primer from Charlotte Tilbury that's like the hybrid primer where they do all, does all the things, brightening, color correcting, all that stuff. I want to try that out too. I love Charlotte Tilbury. You're going to see, I have some newness from her that I'm going to play with tonight. So yeah, I'm pumped. All right. So I'm putting on my cushion because I always do. It's my sunscreen. And this is quite literally just what I wear for foundation every day. It's not really meant to be like a true foundation, but it is a bomb CC. And I don't usually do like a ton of coverage on the daily, but 
I don't necessarily need a ton of coverage today, but it's my birthday and I'm getting crazy with it. So I'm gonna do the Tante Couture uh, Long Wearing Fluid Foundation with Sunscreen and Elegant Honey from Givenchy. And I think I'm going to mix the um, Photo Perfection Fluid Foundation with Sunscreen 100% Natural Complexion Zero Flaw one with it and just see how it goes. Okay. I love this. I'm so excited about this setup. Alright, so I'm just... We're gonna do the neck. I know for a fact I'm gonna wear a low cut top. So I am gonna do my chest just so everything is cohesive, photographs well, you know, all of that. Don't mind my hair. This is not how it's going to look. Um, I really wanna try that air wrap out tonight. So I'm going to like, get it they said it needs to be 85 percent dry so i'm gonna get a little damp and then i'm gonna work with it i have like radically different colors on this but whatever i don't fluctuate a ton with Givenchy. you just fluctuate between like the four and the five usually but apparently between these two formulas it's like a giant fluctuation there is something really satisfying about like doing a sheet mask and then um, getting all like getting all ready and then having to come home and like deeply exfoliate all your makeup off. I don't know why that makes me feel so happy and like not tired. I'm like actually excited to do it. I think that's because I don't do it a lot. If I had to like do it all the time, I'd probably be pissed, but I like it because I feel like. I don't know, I feel like I haven't played with stuff in a while, like I haven't, you know, just played in a long time that I just had no motivation to do it, that I finally feel like I want to now, and I really blame YouTube, like getting back on YouTube, I was like, you know what, I should play with my look again, I like, I enjoyed it, you know, um, yeah, so yeah. Okay, the first, ooh, the first thing that's coming out is actually not new to me. I just got a new one. Um, I pitched that Fenty one because it was just too heavy for like daily wear. And I don't wear like a full cake often at all. So I like the Charlotte Tilbury one better for daily use. The other thing I really like about it is that it's a brightening powder too. So like I tend to leave my under eyes baked the whole time and then just kind of dust off the excess what's up and then when i was with the fenty thing i looked insane and i had to like over dust it off to like make it look balanced to the rest of my face but then my eyes didn't look bright anymore and i had to like repeat this whole stood up stupid process and i was like why am i doing this so i went back to charlotte because she seems to understand my plate better i feel like she's also targeting like above 25 year olds with her line and i think the thing about fenty that i love like i don't know i'm conflicted like i love fenty because she's so inclusive and she's woman owned da da da, da. um but then oh damn but then um at the same time like it's i feel like it's a niche type of makeup that i don't necessarily do um like when I did makeup, I would do it, but like on myself, very rarely. And it just doesn't fit my daily life. Whereas I think with Charlotte, what I've noticed is um, she she has a much broader range in terms of like how far you can go. You can be very natural, you can go like full glam. But I've never felt heavy in her stuff. I've never felt like I have a ton of makeup on. I never felt like I looked like I did. Um, and it always looks like very photo ready, which I like. The other thing is, uh, and this is like a weird, I don't know, it's just me, but like with Fenty, 
It's owned by LVMH, which is, you know, a publicly shared company. It's Sephora, it's Louis Vuitton, it's, it's literally Sephora, Louis Vuitton, Mona Hennessy. Um, it's, it's a bunch of different brands, right? But they own Fenty, they own Kat Von D, they own Marc Jacobs, etc. And something I really like about Charlotte is that she's privately held and she hasn't sold yet. So I'm, I'm cautiously hopeful that she will continue to be privately held. I really, really, really hope she does. Um, so I can continue supporting her stuff because I get pissed off when all my stuff sells and then they change the formulas and then you're just like, well, what the hell am I spending that kind of money for? You know, Tom Ford gutted me. He moved to Estee. When he sold to Estee, he still has creative control, but all those formulas changed. And I, for one, am not happy. Like, you could totally tell a difference, too. If you have the eyeshadow quads, it, they're nowhere near as good. Like, the quality is just nowhere near as good. And then um, that eyeliner, man, I'm pissed. I love him so much and oh wait oh i wasn't supposed to do this i'm not there yet of course that's actually a really good sign because i didn't whatever um i love him so much but i was like legit upset okay hang on we gotta back up i'm talking i'm not paying attention okay time for our uh under eye concealer i'm using the touche high def is that right or high cover excuse me from ysl um, I've had the magic way. If you watch my empties video I did at the beginning of the year, which I cannot wait to do my next one because this bag is getting crazy. Um, if you saw that, you heard me say that I really love the magic way. I still do. I really do. I just wanted to play around. Um, I love it. Only thing I don't like about it is that when it starts to like get 60, 70, more like 70% of its lifespan completed, that little spongy thing sucks. Like, there's something about the sponge on her magical way that I really don't like. Um, it just disintegrates, and then you're, like, struggling getting the product, and it just gets messy, and it's frustrating. Um, so I wanted to try this just because I thought the applicator would be easier. And it is. But I really do. I have a soft spot for... Um, not even soft spot. I only buy concealers that are very thin textures because I don't like cakey makeup. It drives me up a wall. I don't like it when other people do it. I don't like it on me. I would never do it to a client when I was doing makeup. I would literally refuse people that wanted that thick. No, it looks insane. Um, so yeah, I'm not buying concealer that's gonna do much. Okay, here's what I do need. This is the Hollywood Contour Wand from Charlotte. My one that exploded and my last get ready with me and it is in fact dead now so here we go oh i had no idea first time i've realized this thing had an off switch Alright, so if you haven't noticed, I'm going kind of ham today because I can. Um, so this is way more makeup than I normally wear. I usually do a light contour because I'm, you know, getting that body back. But I look crazy. That's okay. All right, that's done. Time to beauty blend. I have no idea what I'm gonna do. I, I kind of am like rotating between doing a smoky, like a smoky eye um, and sort of like a softer lip, like a softer pink lip or stick with the bold lip that I always do and then like a really kind of smoked liner look, which I think I'm probably gonna wind up doing, I don't know. Um, TBD. So complexion, we'll start with just because 
I can make those decisions right now. Helpful. Also, very cute. So a trick I do, and I've done on clients a lot, is I'll make them make faces just to ensure that like when you're blending out your products, especially if you're doing like I call it intimate contour, like if you're doing something that like requires up close contact, you really have to like blend in a way that appears pretty undetectable but in t but does kind of like maintain the integrity of whatever it is you're trying to chisel so I have people make faces and I'll draw a pretty dark line but then I buff it out right and it takes some time to do it but what you'll wind up doing is you're trying to preserve that line regardless of the expression they're making but the other thing is when you make that face you follow the natural like lines of your body so if you're doing your neck or your chest or whatever have them if you're doing makeup on somebody like have them create those whatever like have them raise their shoulders so their collarbones are enhanced or so their neck or whatever just so they photograph really well and authentically um that's something i used to tell especially brides or anybody that's like photos i used to tell them that all the time it's like you're gonna you're inevitably gonna make that facial expression and you're gonna do that with your body so i just want it to where when you do do it it photographs where you want it to and it looks as good as it could possibly look also because if your contour is done for like that kind of face and you're like you're gonna look ridiculous in that picture like you need to make really crazy faces at some point because if you like i just i've seen this a lot if you contour like the living hell out of your jawline and it's like a really harsh contour and then you go in a picture and like the lower like you know quarter of your jawline is just a totally different color than the rest of your face it looks ridiculous like something's happened to you so if you're gonna do stuff like that you gotta make sure that you really ex like take the time to go through all the steps so that regardless of what happens to you in the course of a night you don't look crazy in pictures and you have to like try to untag yourself before other people see it all right so i'm setting my little eiffel tower okay now we set the under eye all right so i'm going to do a few things here i'm going to set this i'm really trying to set like the curves of my face, like my lines, and then also prep for next steps. But I'm going to go through and I'm going to kind of recontour my nose, not necessarily for the contour part of it, but I want to really, I have a small nose and I'm trying to keep the lines visible just so it looks like dimension and I don't get like washed out in the picture. So you like you do like your normal contour and then you just do a little bit afterwards just to kind of re kind of like you know when you do a cream and you do a powder over or a liquid and a powder over just to kind of reinforce what you did it's that but for photos or for you know weird lighting that kind of stuff and then you'll notice well i don't know if you will but like something i always do is i press my powder in and then i kind of buff off whatever i don't really need um because it sets the makeup and unless you're baking like visible bake like that you don't need to see the powder my camera just turns off i don't know what you last heard um so i'm gonna repeat myself the problem with that fenty one that this one i find doesn't do is like it wasn't braiding it just looked heavy you know and if you added more for potential brightening all you got was heavier and that's no good Okay, so I kind of briefly set, I just do like a couple of taps and then I kind of buff it out, set my neck just to kind of get the, kind of like to wick the moisture off of that contour or the foundation or whatever. And then also to smooth out the texture because I don't want, I want to, you know, you want to look good. You want to look smooth. Oh, I missed this powder. All right, so then the next stop, 
on the train. the two brown shades from that Kylie bronze extended palette that I use. And I'm just gonna kind of create the overall. This is something I'm gonna do no matter what else. Like this is literally what I'll do most days and I just leave it at this. Um, just to get some kind of architecture to my face. And then what I will do though is I, you'll notice I like took it right in here and then I can literally take that brush down with just a tiny bit of shadow and just to kind of connect everything warm it all up you do not want this to look heavy or like this could very easily walk into drag territory if you're not doing drag that night don't walk into drag territory so you just want to take like the residue of what's on that brush you'll notice like i'm on my eye for a while and then i pull it in and then i come down my nose you don't want to dip back in that's too much product you just want a little shadow and just to kind of show some depth from your nose bridge in a picture you're not rewriting your nose the other nice thing about doing it this way is that when you express yourself like when you make facial expressions if you rub your nose or whatever you don't have to worry about like wiping off a huge chunk of makeup that then distorts the rest of your face or makes you like look like something happened none of that because there's so little product to begin with that when it wipes off it just looks really natural okay i'm going to finish my face now i'm going to do the cheek to chic swish and pop blusher in i believe this is I think I got ecstasy. Yeah, ecstasy. So looks like this. I'm excited to try this. All right, let's try. What is this? This is an airbrush brush. This is too big. So what I am gonna do is just like, because I don't, I didn't really quite frankly think this through. So I'm just gonna do. Oh, that's pretty. I'm gonna start with a light hand. I'm doing that swish and pop technique that she wants you to do, just cause I haven't played with this and I don't, you know, I don't know. But I love that color, okay. The other thing I really love is that that is enough highlight for me. I do not a big highlight person. Uh, so it's kind of like a perfect amount of glow. I don't need to look like you can see me from the moon. Or what's that? Like you can see the moon beam? I don't want the moon beam. I'm good. Okay, so. Got that. I'm going to take a little bit on my nose just to kind of warm it up. A little bit on my chin. A little bit on my forehead. I have not done bronzer yet. So most of this is just to give like some overall cohesion to the face. It's not necessarily to put blush on your forehead. I'm not trying to look like I've got that situation. I just need to look really seamless. Um, there was a trend, or not like a trend, but there was like a trending tip a little while back about like putting eyeshadow on your crease because that cohesive flow to the face, there's just like an overall like, oh, that looks really good. It's undetectable, but it makes sense. It's that thing. It's that same philosophy. Okay, so Givenchy, um, bronzer the less is on bronzer in 04 and then my go-to brush forever and always is a giant fan brush for bronzer because it makes a ton of sense and it makes your job a lot easier and you get it done quicker i have had back when i did makeup i had this in my kit i've always had one of these in my kit at least one um and what's awesome is this like how quickly you can bronze up a lot of space with a fan brush and then when you need to be specific you use the fan you press you get in there if you if you do makeup if you used to do makeup you understand how important like time is and if you make that time i'm not getting in there with some kind of detailed brush and doing that to a whole person Plus, 
plus I think it aids in that really natural like sun kissed look like it's just like huge swaths of skin Oh my god, this looks really good. I'm like really happy with this. Okay. I am gonna take a little bit of this blush though on my eyelids because I just love how this looks. It is so perfect for this bronzer. So then I'm going to take um, my eyebrows next, which that is, and I'll, oh, let me come out my eyelashes first. I got my eyelash extensions done on, today's Monday, I got my eyelashes done last Wednesday because I said in another video, I really miss them and they make my life just a my everyday like getting ready life just so much easier i can get ready in 10 minutes when i have eyelash extensions i cannot when i don't so these are 13 millimeter in length she doesn't she told me she wouldn't go more than that personally i need more than that so i don't love how like i love the fan and the volume of them but i don't love like the length i need them to be longer and she texted me today said she could go like a millimeter longer to like a 14 which you know is helpful but i kind of i kind of want like 15s and i don't know so we'll see um they're definitely better than not having them but i do especially she was like you know as they grow they get longer and i understand that logic but right now i just kind of want them to be longer you know, like, I don't want to have to wait for them to grow out. But God, the fans on this, like, it is so full. I do really love that. Okay. All right, so eyebrows are done. Yeah, I'm so far I'm like really happy with how my um like my non-negotiable things are going. Like the next step is eyes. I think I'm gonna do like a smoky, like kind of like a soft smoky eye and um with like a like a what am I trying to say? Like a softer eye with like a powder kind of smoked outliner and then a lip and let's do a little bit of this so we're going to take a little bit of jean which is a cream shadow from charlotte tilbury i'm going to work it onto the lid oh this is beautiful okay pure duct and i'm just using a smudger brush like I call it a little bullet brush, just to kind of keep it really where I want it, and then I can feather it out with my finger, and I kind of go back into my crease and everything, and kind of sharpen all that back up. But what I like about this is it'll wake up the eye, and it keeps it targeted, so it's not like a big packing, like all over. It just kind of wakes you up. So kind of concentrate a little bit more on the tear duct. And then I'm going to do a tiny bit on the lower lash, just to kind of glint. I want that glint to pick up the blue in my eye. And this color is just gorgeous on blue eyes, so that's what I got. I saw a look that her makeup team did, and I was just like, oh my god, I love everything about that look. And this was the shadow they used. And then I want to take my crease work again. And then just a little bit of that 
underneath the eye, just for some dimension and shape. And I don't keep it like in this part of the crease as much, like I, like I do, but I take it up top just to kind of open the eye. Because I've got lid space here, so I want to use it. Okay, and I'm going to go into my um, concealer, not my, what the hell am I saying you? My angle blender brush. And I'm going to take a combination of the Charlotte Silver Color Chameleon and Black Diamonds, which is this like sparkly black number. And this amber, what the hell is this color called? Amber Haze. I'm going to mix those two together as my eyeliner on, the, on my hand. And just work it, work the brush through it so it's a good, like, blend. I don't want it to be black. I don't want it to be brown. There is glitter in the black. So it's just this random kind of pretty color. But it's not harsh on the eye and lord knows i have worn black wing liner for my whole life but i have lash extensions and they really avoid liquid liner at all costs or they really tell you to so this is the state that i'm in currently and i just want to play around with this combination i'm gonna buff this liner a little bit into my lashes just for like a little extra kind of sparkle and a tiny bit of contrast. You're not gonna get a ton of contrast out of this. That's not what I'm going for. You just want a little bit of dimension, a little bit of depth, a little bit of visual interest. That's it. Okay, so then I'm gonna take this combo again and do the other eye. This is kind of, I don't think I would recommend you do this. I'm just doing it because I can. I have the time, I have the product. I haven't done it before. I'm just playing. Again, I'm just playing. I have no idea how this is gonna turn out. I do like this color combination. I do like how soft it is, um, especially in light of the fact that I'm gonna have a bold lip on. It's just the right amount, you know what I mean? It's a good way to like get the cat eye, of some shadow, kind of check all the boxes that you wanna check without looking like garish. I also really like this brush. I just bought it when I got my lashes done. Um, because I wanted to, you know, play around with powder liner and like eyeshadow as liner kind of thing. And I do like it a lot. All right, so next I want to take a compact that's clean, which is rare. I just want to make sure everything's kind of laying right. And it looks even. Okay, that thing turned off and I have no idea where you were, so I apologize. All right, so now it's time to be perfectionist because I'm doing great on time. And I want to warm up my angles a little bit more. I'm pretty happy with my eye makeup. It's a little light, which, you know, I'm not opposed to. I feel like it looks... I feel it looks good. It's just softer than I'm usually doing, which isn't bad. It's just something different. And I am going to put a red lip on, so that'll probably change everything. All right, so let's do that now. I'm going to wipe off my um, lip balm. Sharpen my lip liner. And so my lip liner is the Givenchy Calman Escapin, Escapin, which is the red one basically. Um, I have a new one. I just no, <gasps> no, damn it! No, I made a mess. What in the hell? Everything's falling apart. Why? Okay. I have a new one, but if you buy a lip liner, you know that you get this like need. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I have like a need to complete a lip liner. It's 
So two things. I have an obsession with symmetry and balance, and I absolutely require things to look the same. Um, so that takes time. And the other thing is, I have permanent nerve damage in my mouth. So, uh, from when wisdom teeth being removed. So, um, it takes me longer to do my lips because of it, because I can't really feel the lip liner, and I can't really feel like my lip line, because I don't have a really pronounced lip line, it just kind of fades into nothing. Like literally it fades into like my chin and whatnot. So, it takes me a longer time to do my lip liner. And now, we're gonna try this out. This is the new Charlotte Tilbury Hot Lips. This is in the color Patsy Red. Um, how do I, how do I open this? It's one of the matte ones. Uh, I just watched it earlier today and I really love the color red. It's like a pinky red. And normally, um, it is refillable, so I'm, I, okay, two things. One is, this is refillable, so I'm a little nervous that it's more likely to like break off. Um, that does not spark tons of joy, but whatever. Um, and the other thing is normally I use a liquid lipstick, so I don't want to babysit it. But I will tell you that lately I have been kind of like, oh, it'd be nice to carry a lipstick on me again. Um, and then when I saw these come out and that they were like more matte, but they were, you know, still relatively long wearing that cashmere feel and da 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 da. I was like, let's give it a go. And I just happened to really love, I swatched like a ton of colors today. And the two that I, the Patsy Red one I got, there are three more that I would get. One is that Olivia one, two is the Dance Floor Princess, but they were sold out. That was one I almost got today, but they were out of it. And then that third one is, um, uh, a mall, the Amal one. That Amal and the Viva Vergara, those are the two colors that I really thought were gonna be a lot more, um, like deep, that they're gonna be a lot more bold than they really are. They're pretty, I mean, they're, for being on the darker shade spectrum, they don't have that depth of color that you'd expect, so they're way more wearable than you thought they would be, or at least I thought they'd be. I thought they would be like really restrictive in terms of like who could pull it off frequently and they're not at all. They're surprisingly versatile. All right, so it's 5.46, we need to leave in like an hour. All right, so it's time to do my hair. I'm gonna go get my hair damp and start like playing with it and then like check back in when I kind of figure out what I'm gonna do just so I'm not like dicking around with a Dyson thing on camera. Um, but I'll be back in a minute.
Okay, so I'm really excited. I'm trying to keep like low key. My bangs have not been cut since I got my hair done. I get my hair done for the record every six weeks and I'm due for a haircut on, well, I'm due for everything on Friday. My bangs look like shit for like a week. Look at my bangs right now. This is amazing. I'm obsessed with this. Look at this. They look so fucked up for like, oh my God. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm like, so excited. <laughs> so excited. And it's like, it's like I've just sprayed it or something. Like it's done and quaffed. It's not like all kind of like on edge. If you have bangs, you know what I'm talking about, where you get like nervous. Like I'm not nervous. Oh my God. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited. This makes me very happy. Oh, yes. I fucking love it when shit is done well. And it just, you know, like it just, in my soul, it makes me happy. And now I don't have to worry about like if I move my head, like they settle again. That's so rare. <gasps> Sweet Jesus. I fucking love it. Now I want to get like a spray bottle and dampen my hair and then do it. God, this is gonna. Yes. Oh my God, yes. I fucking love it when they get it right. All right, now I can do my hair. I just don't feel like getting back up again, so I'm using this because it's in my little. All right, so the Dyson, I did my bangs with it. I didn't do it with my hair with it because my hair's already dry and I don't have time to like rub it and do all that kind of stuff. But just in case it did go south, I don't have that kind of time. But based on my bangs, holy hell, I'm super excited about this thing. Um, really confident in it. But yeah, so this is the final look. I was thinking about putting liner down. I wound up not doing it. So it is a little like less eye dramatic than I've done historically, but this is what we're going for. Heads up, if you do do this, um, this hot lips two thing that I've got on my lips, the uh, it is not at all transfer resistant. So it's like a standard lipstick. So if you intend on like eating, drinking, kissing, whatever, it's coming off, so carry it with you. I'm not looking at the, I gotta get used to this camera, it's brand new. Uh, you gotta get used to that. Um, I'm gonna get dressed really quickly and I'll show you my outfit and then I gotta go to dinner. Okay, so really quick outfit of the night because we gotta go. Um, the This vest is old as hell, I've had it forever. I would not buy Forever 21 now, but this is from Forever 21. This bodysuit is from Privacy Please. You can get it on Revolve. Jeans are AG. My shoes. It's like sunset and the light is bright as shit. My shoes are the Valentino, hang on. Uh, they're the Valentino rock studs, the black and white limited ones. I got them for my birthday last year and then I'm carrying my birthday present for this year, which is the YSL. Um, this is a nano black bag. I don't know the specifications, but I will get them for you. I'll like list them below. Um, I sorely need a new bag. My Fendi one was dying. So I'm, I cannot be more excited about this. Um, yeah, so this is what we're looking like. I gotta go, but okay. Thanks so much for watching guys. Have a great day. I'll see you soon. Bye.